Hello all and welcome back. In this video we are taking a look at a company that is currently trending. You can see it being discussed quite a lot. It's called DTE Energy. Obviously an energy company is one of the things these days, one of the things and you would expect it to do well. However, since it's last uh, one year high, it's down about 18%, which of course you would take if you are, if we are talking about a tech company that has been completely annihilated. But over here, you would uh, want some better gains potentially out of energy. If we take a look at the one month chart, surprisingly, even again, if this is an, an energy company, it's actually going down recently since um, June 7. Let's take a look at the stock news, see whether something has happened actually. Because just by looking at this price action, we can see that something is uh, wrong over here. So let's see whether we had any news uh, in our using our news module here of our tool. You will basically see that not much has been going on in terms of news. Like since May 31st, the things that have happened pretty much um, is um, the fact that they announced uh, their Blue Water Energy Center here, a combined, cy combined cy cycle natural uh, gas fired power plant is basically what uh, the news have been talking about. So in that case, let's take a look at the company's financials, what's going on there. Now remember that this one is a $22.3 billion market cap, cap company, so it's not a small company by any means. And you will see here that the P ratio is uh, 24.8. It has been increasing. That's something that you don't like to see. It points to less net income. Now the price to free cash flow ratio is actually negative here, minus 31 is not great to see and we will examine the finer details. A little bit of extra shares being printed here about 7.8%, about 8%. But uh, you will see that the revenue growth has been positive overall, but the net income and free cash flow have been tumbling here, especially the free cash flow as well as the total equity growth has been going down a little bit. Now, this is a cyclical company, of course. It can have its ups and downs. And if you take a little bit of a look at uh, the max chart over here, you will see that um, there have been some ups and downs during this, uh, th these times, basically. A little bit of up, a little bit of uh, down. But overall, it has been climbing higher, is what we're seeing here. And it's a very, very old company. You see our, our chart goes up to 1963 here, in the earlier, really. And if we take a look at um, our company profile here, you will see that it is a 1949 IPO. It's a very, very old company, this one. Now, let's go back a little bit and uh, let's analyze what is happening here with the financials a little bit more in detail. Our return on equity, 9.4%, net income margin, 7.8%, and a dividend yield that the company is paying is interesting here, 4.5%, with a free cash flow payout ratio that is in the negative. Remember, the company hasn't been generating free cash flow lately, at least. We'll see that. And the payout ratio from the net income is actually very, very high as well. I'm surprised the company is paying that much in a dividend here. Let's take a look. Maybe it was a special dividend. Actually, no, it seems to be a recurring dividend over here. And so based on what I'm seeing here, um, I will have a little bit of trouble seeing how this company can sustain this dividend. Now, this uh, is interesting here because the, the, uh, the last 12 month dividend has been higher. Probably they paid some extra in between or something of that sort. But uh, overall, right now, it's sitting at 3.07 or maybe it was because of the higher price potentially. Uh, but um, if we go back, I kind of want to uh, take a look at the three year chart. It's uh, been around. Yeah, it's been around 140 over here. So as it was lower, obviously, the effective yield, yield was higher. So uh, right now, it seems like it's paying 3.07 percent, which is potentially still rather high based on the company's financials that we are seeing. I mean, this would be still like 80% or 90% or something of that sort. Now, let's take a little bit of a look at uh, the financial statement here. Now, 12.6 billion to 14.9, uh, some, some okay growth, not something insane over here. But net income from 1.1 to 900 million, so it's actually going down. And uh, seems to be going down a lot uh, from uh, the previous years. I mean, it seems to be pretty much going down every year apart from this one, I guess. Okay. Now the balance sheet of the company here, we, we will notice that from 10 billion of equity, they are down to 8.7. And in, be in between, they have been making some money out of uh, stock, out of uh, shares that they have been selling to common shareholders. And uh, in terms of the cash flow here, 900 million in the last year, and you will see that the operating cash flow has been positive 3 billion over here. Yet if we take a look at the free cash flow, it has been negative and it's growing more and more negative, which is a very, very bad sign to see. This is something that I hate to see, of course. 
and uh, um, the company has been uh, also uh, getting some debt as you'll see here quite some substantial debt over here is interesting to see and um, we can take a little bit of a look actually at the um, so the, the yeah the, the free cash flow is negative and that's that's a big problem and uh, if we take a look at our stock analysis uh, chart back we will see that our price to book is 2.5 here this is fair but debt to equity is 1.6 so a lot of debt compared to the equity of the company which is also kind of tumbling here not great signs for the company now i don't know if they will be able to compensate because of what is happening right now with energy but uh, it's a risky play and what is the price to pay for this one potentially now we can go for a low revenue growth because last three years uh, they have been growing at 2.7 percent 7.9 at five years i'm gonna go to four and let's go eight here net income margins have been six seven and eight pretty much and free cash flow margins have been negative uh, and uh, this is a, a big big problem here as you can understand because the company doesn't really generate free cash flow and so all the all their net income doesn't really conf convert to profitability is the big big problem here that we're having with this company and so what can we do we can go something that is relatively low in terms of conversion and still be uh, see what we're getting out of this one so i'm gonna go 60 here and then 70 13 percent for my usual gain and if we hit calculate yeah you will see that we are far from where we'd like it to be based on the current price so even with uh, positive projections for for free cash flow this is not a buy right now i'm a little bit curious to kind of take a little bit of a closer look at the cash flow statement here because from the from a net income of 9.907 million and uh, depreciation amortization of 1.4 uh, we are getting to 3 billion in terms of net cash provided by operating activities which means that the capital expenditures of the company are very very high and uh, they will uh, potentially have to suppress those they seem to be increasing pretty much every year and of course you can understand that this kind of company does have quite significant capital expenditures but they will have to do something against that because they seem to be spending quite a lot here in terms of capital expenditures and uh, that may actually drag them down um, potentially in the next few years it looks like so that yeah i would definitely look to um look uh, as a you know as a stakeholder of the company i would definitely look to see whether they are looking to actually decrease their capital expenditures and start making some actual free cash flow because it has been growing into the negative territory quite a lot lately and that's uh, obviously not encouraging to see over here okay and so even though energy is important these days and you could be looking to add something to your portfolio maybe this one is uh, not the right one uh, dd energy even though it's a very very old company may not be the right play here thank you for watching the video let me know what you think about dte energy and uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you are interested in this kind of content thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye